Hey gang, welcome back to Mark's 60 plus fitness journey. Okay, today I wanna to take a few minutes to share with you my current workout split. I don't wanna emphasize, I'm just sharing it with you. I'm not saying you have to do this or it's the best workout split ever, but it just happens to work for me at the moment. And I just wanna take a minute to share with you what that is, so uh, let's get into it. Okay, day one. Now this is just arbitrary. I'm starting day one with, just happens to be back, biceps, calves. Now, I also wanna mention that on these, most of these days, if not all of them, uh, I'll do my cardio in the morning. I usually do that in the morning when I get up, before I eat, go out and do a 45 minute to 60 minute uh, brisk walking session. For example, this morning I did uh, 55 minutes and um, matter of fact, today is a, a rest and recuperation day. So today all I did was cardio. So day one is back, biceps, and calves. Um, used to be back in the day, I'd have like an arm day and sometimes a different split would have that, an arm day. So biceps and triceps would be on an arm day. But right now I'm doing back, biceps, and calves. So let's move on to day two of this split. Okay, day two, shoulders and hamstrings. And of course, cardio early in the morning before I start. Now this seems like an odd one. A lot of people disagree with us having a shoulder day in particular, but right now I'm doing this. Seems to work pretty good. And the other odd thing about this day is I've got hamstrings on this day as well. I don't do hamstrings on leg day. I save it for this particular day. And uh, again, um, I seem to get some good response from this, so I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, one note here, normally I'll do hamstrings first and then jump into the shoulder workout. Um, and, and, and while I'm thinking about it, I'm, I'm gonna do some videos later on on the specific workouts for each of these days too, by the way. I just wanna give you a broad overarching view of what we're doing here. So that's day two, shoulders, hamstrings, cardio. And also note, I don't have calves on here. I usually do calves every other workout. I used to do calves every day, but now I've gone back to uh, calves every other workout. So that's day two. Let's move on to day three. Okay, day three, chest, triceps, calves. And again, I put the uh, triceps on a, on a push day, whereas like, uh, the, uh, the back bicep day, I put biceps on a pull day. So uh, this makes sense to me, works pretty well. Um, generally here, uh, I'll do calves first. I'll get that first just to get the blood going, get warmed up, do a nice calf workout. And then uh, again, as always, I do the cardio in the morning before I go to the gym and uh, before I eat. So day three, chest, tricep, calves. Day three, let's move on to day four. Okay, day four, legs. Can't skip legs. Legs is pretty much quad centric. As I mentioned on um, workout two, uh, I do hamstrings with shoulders. So no hamstrings on this day. So this is gonna be legs and it's gonna be quad centric and I've been lately doing some work on like abductor, adductor, you know, this kind of stuff with the, um, whatever those machines are called, those are hard. I've just started doing that. But, um, so day four, legs, I try to do this pretty hard um, since it's only this, and again, cardio early in the morning. Now on the leg day, I'll probably limit myself to at most 45 minutes of cardio just to, you know, save the legs a little bit for this particular workout. Okay, so that's day four. Now, let me show you what I do on day five. Okay, so it may seem counterintuitive to have a, a day five and a four day workout split, but here we are. Um, day five, rest, recuperation. Now I call this an active rest day in that um, I still do my, my cardio on this day. You know, I try to get up and, uh, or we try to get out and bebop around, do things, get outside, but no resistance training. 
Um, I'll honestly say that, at least to me, and I'm sure for most folks, this is arguably the most important day of this whole workout split. Uh, I've, I've historically had a hard time taking the rest day seriously and even doing it. I would push myself and, and go through this four day cycle two, three, four times before I took a rest day. And um, I think it's important, obviously, to give the body time to restore and grow and, and, and get over these workouts, these intense workouts, particularly um, as we age. Um, but this is a, a good day. As a matter of fact, I'm on this day today. Uh, I've already got my cardio in this morning. I'll probably get a little bit more in, and then we'll go out and do some grocery shopping and whatnot, chores and stuff. So uh, there it is, my four day workout split back biceps, shoulders, hamstrings, chest, triceps, legs, quad centric, and rest day. Okay, now, as I said, um, what I'm gonna do is uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna do some specific videos on uh, a more uh, specific breakdown of each of these workouts and um, currently I'm doing some high intensity training I'll explain what I'm doing there I did a video on that a couple of days ago that I'll link up here in the corner it was a leg day give you a little bit of a brief intro into that what I'm doing there but uh, anyway there it is that's my four-day split tell me what you think I'd like to hear your thoughts I'd like to hear what you're doing and why and why you think it works um, that's it just wanted to share that and uh, I guess with that I'll say till next time go get them mark out